D Wade, what's good, boy? It's been a minute since we've been in, you know, since we was in the Middle East and Kuwait. So I just thought I'd reach out to you. I've been seeing all the stuff you've been doing on social media with the skate work and all that. Look, skate culture needs you. What you're doing right now is amazing. I love it. So as soon as the airport start opening back up, we got to get creative, man. We got to do something together. I need you to do something with Attack the Sound. I want to be there. Like, that just looks like so much fun and good energy. I want to be there where everybody is. All right, sick. I need to buy some skates. And, and dust off this rusted skating thing and get myself back to her. When I used to go Ranny's, bro. Ranny's roller rink down Aston by your ends. So my name's Shaquille, this is Mills, and this is Aisha. We're the core members of Wavy On 8. Wavy On 8 was established late 2019, and our inspiration for becoming a group is that we wanted a team from South London for South London. We used to skate back in 2011. A lot of people in South London stopped, but through social media, that impact has had um, a direct effect on them of hanging up their skates, they've now picked it back up. Yeah. They've picked back up their skates, now they want to skate again, they're getting back on skating, and everyone's reigniting that love that they had for skating and just picking up the passion again. And... Last year we met the new flock. I feel like for us they showed us more jam skating. In my eyes anyway, I never knew about that back in the day. So the impact of lockdown on our group is that essentially it held us to hold rolling skating events because as you know, all the venues were closed, they couldn't do anything. So that's when we stepped up to the table. When the weather started getting better now, we said, okay, we put our heads together, clap them back, and then boom. Before it was just friends of friends and friends of friends, but now it's like we're actually putting ourselves out there. We're welcoming different people to come skate with us that we don't know. We just wanted to do something for the community, something for us as well at the same time. Yeah. So we had somewhere fun to skate, it was nice to have the sun out, music on, and instead of just doing it for ourselves, we might as well just do it for the whole community. We documented that on social media, on our Instagram page, and that led us to having a huge impact on following on Instagram. The traction we built was just immense, like the response we're getting is crazy. Roller skating was an option, so I feel like now that it's been made clear like this is something that people actually do, it's not just a seasonal thing, it's not a lockdown thing, it's actually something here to stay. I definitely think um, the style of skating makes you, the UK skate scene unique. So we like specialise in street skating and our skates look very different. UK, you're going to catch 90% of the skaters wearing airwaves. So you go to the US, you're not going to catch anybody in airwaves. Mm -hmm. So our wheels to our boots, because like I said, the Americans, they wear the leather boots, we wear the hockey boots, which are ice skates. We knock off the blade, put a base plate on it, and we're good to hit the roads. Within the last year, the community, the family in the community just come from here to up here. And for me, that, that's been a beautiful thing. I think that skating is here to stay. I do not think it's a fad. I believe that it has taken so many people out of depression and all types of mental health issues that we're not just going to leave it on the side. We actually see ourselves as like a tight little family. Finding my feet 
moving through a time where we feel contained, we feel trapped, nowhere to go but within. Fulfilling and embracing the darkness that churns within. And will continue to express. Finding our expression has been the ultimate feat during our time. Uh, my name's Livany and I live in London. I've been skating in London since I was a kid. So Step and Roll is me and my friend Douglas. Um, he's also a skater. We started skating at the Roller Disco in Tottenham and decided to put our skills together. He's a visual effects artist and I'm a filmmaker. Uh, we started last summer, so March 2020. So we wanted to capture what we were seeing, what we were feeling when we were seeing all these skaters. We were kind of looking at like how is skating in the UK represented and there wasn't very much content that was documenting and showcasing skaters in the UK. London's become a bit of a hybrid, like iconically the style of London skating is backwards, chop and shuffle, backwards crossover, speed skating, that's a very iconically London sort of style. But now it's getting hybridised and we're borrowing things from everywhere so we'll see what the skaters are doing in America, do something similar but add our own style to it like a lot of London skaters who are mainly speed skating before now are also jam skating now and they're making it very unique and doing it in a way that we're doing it because we're pulling from all these different places and then adding something else from our own personal backgrounds to it as well. It's not a phase, it's a resurgence, like, we're bringing it back man, the culture's coming back. If you had asked me six months ago, I was like, okay, this could be a passing trend and that by, you know, next summer it might die down. But everything is pointing to this being a culture and on the comeback. And the thing about skating is when you get into it, it captivates you. It's just such a good way to be present and be in the moment and kind of push yourself to try something new. And then what it is now, people are more willing to try it out because they're seeing their friends do it and they're, oh, you're on skates, I'm going to get skates. And I think the growth is going to perpetuate and everything is just pointing to it being a big return of the culture. Calm before the storm. I am electrifying. Nothing will let me stop. Storm skater. Watch my wheels. We are a company that obviously we want to show the uniqueness of skating. We realise that London ain't really got a voice or exposure, so we want to show the whole world what London really has to offer. There's a there's a bunch of us that's from different parts of the city, and we're all here trying to connect. Cause one voice is louder, and that's our mission. We've got one voice.
We'll be heading that way, guys. Let's go. Skating is an outdoor activity. All the rinks are closed, so we're taking it to the streets. Hi, my name is um, John C. I'm going by the name of Juice. Um, I'm part of the Watch My World team. I'm the cinematographer, editor. It's a community, as you can see from today. Like, we're skating from um, Buckingham Palace to Tower Bridge, yeah, which is uh, my first street skate with people. And when I say it, it's incredible. Since um, December 2019, um, during the pandemic is when we all decided to start doing regular link-ups just to get through the depression that we was all going through at the time. I heard through this event, someone um, DM'd me on my Instagram. And yeah, we're here, as you can see. Get yeah, me, come skating. Find a gang and come skating. Yeah, if you're in a bad mood, come skating. Learn, it's easy. I know everyone done it in their childhood, so just get back on it, yeah? Hi, I'm Jazz, live in London. Uh, I've been skating for, I think, just over six, seven, like six, seven months. Um, like started at the end of summer and then yeah, never looked back. <laughs> like it's the best. Um, just met the cutest people. It's such a vibe. And yeah, it's like totally what's got me through lockdown. My name's Ren from London. Um, as you can see, I'm a ninja and I've been skating for years. So as soon as I saw the community getting back together again, I saw that as a chance, like I said, to put back on the skates, get back out there, and it's just, to be honest, it's just nice to see everyone back together again and everyone enjoying themselves, man. Just a lot of things has happened over the year, and what people need is just togetherness, innit? To just know that, yo, I could come to a space and I could just be myself and be free. And that's what we promote, man. So I was watching my wall skating through London, headphone street skate. I don't think I've ever seen it done before. Get me, we're always trying to break the barriers here, trying to raise our levels, you get me? So come skate with us, follow us on, watch my walls everywhere. I'm Gaz and this is Kitty. This is Double Threat Skates. We have been open for uh, eight years, going on eight years. We just had our eight year anniversary. I owned a skate shop in New Zealand already, an online skate shop. And I heard through the grapevine that Kitty was gonna try and open a roller derby shop in London and she needed a business partner. Our background is, is as roller derby skaters. Um, I've been playing roller derby since 2006, which is like the dawn of time in roller derby history. She's actually the longest skating roller derby player in the UK, fun fact. Yeah. Gaz went back to New Zealand um, for a holiday and I think we joked about, lol, imagine if you get stuck there because of the pandemic. I was stuck there for four months. So it's got stuck in New Zealand. <laughs> I've got a lot of friends in Italy, um, I coach there quite a bit and obviously they'd locked down you know, at the start of March and they were like, you need to like close your doors kind of thing. And so we sort of did the responsible thing and you know, closed. But I also thought that no one would buy roller skates in a pandemic and so we were, had you know, serious talks about what if this is the end of the shop. <laughs> when I moved everything to my living room, um, I thought I'd just be maybe sending out like a pair of wheels. Or, did not expect what ended up happening to happen at all. Worldwide skate shortage at the moment, like 
pretty much every brand is yet we can't get a consistent supply of. Last year, over summer, um, during a lot of the Black Lives Matter protests, um, one of the skate brands posted some really insensitive um, memes and... And then yeah. they doubled down to just plain old racist. Yeah. And it was yeah. disgusting. Unfortunately, we had a whole heap of their boots um, because they were quite a popular, quite a popular boot. And at the time, you know, we spoke to a lot of other um, friends in the skate shop industry, um, and they all did the same. And we sort of talked about, you know, what can we do, you know, with these boots. And I think everyone sort of knew that they wanted to do something good with them. Um, and then I think I just saw on Instagram that um, the group Watch My Wheels were fundraising um, to try to um, get some gear so that they could um, like run skating sessions for young people. Um, and I was like, hey, you know, said to Gaz, you know, should we offer them the boots? Yeah, we sort of chatted to them and yeah, they were really keen um, to take them. Um, so I think their plan is, they're still fundraising, um, and their plan is to kind of put some skates together um, in the summer, um, yeah. There's two types of drills. There's a skill drill and there's a strategy drill. And in the skill drill, you'd come in the end and you'd give feedback. And someone always said, no matter what it was, bend your knees. It would, it would be better if I bent my knees more. If I just got a bit lower. I just tried to bend my knees and it, it really improved. And it's, yeah, bend, bend your knees, it, it helps. <laughs>Reckless people, we're seen as we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. If people actually look into what the community is, it's a beautiful community. 